six in a row, second overtime game to win. Uh, opening statement on this game. Uh, it was a great win. Uh, yeah, I give EIU a lot of credit. Uh, they really they deserved the win. They played really, really well. Uh, they had a great game plan. Uh, we're really, really physical with us in the first half. But uh, guys uh, were really resilient and found a way to win, and uh, I'm really proud of them. What's the common thread of these last two games and these last two comebacks in your mind? Well, I think the first thing that comes to mind is that it's a really good league, and there's very good teams in this league from top to bottom. So there's a lot of parity. Uh, and number two, I think that our team has shown a lot of toughness. Um, they've been resilient. They've been able to, to find ways to win when uh, things haven't been, you know, looking as well or even bleak. But uh, I'm really proud of our group. we, we got a tough group, and uh, we won the war on the glass. Uh, we were plus nine on the glass, and that's a huge deal for us. And, uh, you know, I can't say enough about our guys. We really compete and played, played well enough to win. Continue to say that seniors win games in February. Is that ever more evident than tonight? For sure. Uh, Tamond and Miles in particular were really big. And I thought uh, Terrence Durham you know, had a great great game as well in the first half, knocked down a couple shots. And, uh, you know, but those two uh, fours and fives uh, with Tamond and Miles, they, they were men in there tonight. How good was Tamond late in regulation and then in oh, the overtime as far as great. getting timely baskets? He was great. Um, you know, you can't say enough about him. I mean, he's, uh, he's a warrior. We put the ball in his hands um, at the end of the game. You know, he's the one that's got us to the dance many, many times. And, uh, you know, I, I can't say enough. He's a tough kid and uh, just makes many plays. Tell me, what, what was your mindset going into overtime, knowing it was your second overtime in a row and guys started to look a little tired? Or did well, they look tired to you? Yeah, we were. And I think that emotionally we were a little bit drained. And, um, you know, I, I told him after the game that we're going to learn a lot about our team in these five minutes. I told him that at halftime um, and how tough we are. I mean, because we had the momentum and we gave it away. Uh, they missed the layup regulation. Um, but we came back and we got a stop. We were able to get a fast break basket and we were able to make enough plays and enough stops to uh, to win the game. And it, uh, it was a huge force. Do you feel like you're fortunate to get out of here with a win sure. with that missed layup? And, and what, what went in through your mind in that last possession well, in, in regulation? You know, we wanted to get the ball to Tamon in the middle of the floor. Um, you know, they were collapsing, collapsing all night. So we were going to have them, you know, read whether uh, you know the help was going to come from the big or the help was going to come from the guard. And he's a uh, good enough player and a good enough playmaker to read that. Uh, Richard Lee read the back cut, and uh, you know Tamon probably should have shot it, but um, you know tried to was it make an unselfish play. And but hey, uh, it happens. And uh, thought we spaced the floor pretty well around them. And they got a great layup, a great look. But uh, we were very fortunate to get out of here with the win. But any win in February is very fortunate. Another win over Murray State was big here for you. How big was this one, though, with actually playing some, playing for something here? You haven't done that in quite a while, and did it feel kind of like a race tonight, like you're playing? For sure. For yeah. I mean, it was felt like a playoff game. Uh, you know, it's uh, every game from here on out is like a playoff game. I mean, uh, EIU is a very good team. Uh, like I said, they they came in with a really really good game plan, and uh, you know we're fortunate to win, but uh, we'll take it. Jalen came in tonight. What, what did he add? I, I was really proud of Jalen Murray. See, I, you know, he really came in and gave us a spark. I thought we needed some energy. You know, we were just kind of dead. Uh, the gym was dead. Uh, and I thought Jalen came in and picked up the tempo, was able to get in the lane, made a couple plays. He made a big turnaround jump shot himself. And uh, I thought Jalen was a huge spark in the game tonight. You got on the mic tonight a couple of times. I don't know if you heard that. And Jim got pretty loud near the end. Is this kind of uh, inclination of what you want here? Yeah, I mean, it's, I, I, I wish West Tennessee would really jump on board this program. Um, you know, we, we won 21 games last year. We're competing for a uh, conference championship. And, you know, we got two more home games left. And, you know, the crowd makes a huge difference. And when those guys were involved tonight, uh, coming down a stretch, it, it's worth six, six to eight points a game. And, um, you know, I hope that they can really, especially the last couple of weeks, really jump on board of this program and come out and support it because we got a good product. we got a chance to do something that, uh, quite frankly, hasn't been done here very often. My last question, how important is it to get a double bye, do you think, to win the tournament? No team has ever won four in four days since yeah. it happened in 2011. Well, um, you know. It's and, early, but just for any. For sure. I think any time you can get a double bye, I think it's, uh, it's a huge advantage. Uh, you know, you're obviously automatically in the semis. And... You know, the way the, the league is stacking up now, especially with the East, that uh, you know, it would be hard to get a, a third or fourth seed 
uh, from the West because the East is obviously, uh, you know, three or four of those teams are really, really good and got great records. But you know, all we can control is uh, is the next game, the next practice. But uh, there's no doubt that uh, our goal is to win the West and, uh, and try to get a double bye.